Welcome back to another in our series of People, Places, and Things of the Bible. Our topic today is moving on to maturity. Our passage comes from Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11, through chapter 6, verse 3. About this we have much to say, and it is hard to explain, since you have become dull of hearing. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you again the basic principles of the oracles of God. You need milk, not solid food. For everyone who lives on milk is unskilled in the word of righteousness, since he is a child. But solid food is for the mature, for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil. Therefore, let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, and of instruction about washings, the laying out of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. There is a method doctors use to measure a child's physical development. It is based on an average of infants that have been studied. They will take a child's measurements and it will show where that is on a percentile scale. It can show, for instance, if a child's weight is within acceptable growth frames or if it is abnormal. It can show trends if a parent has given their child regular checkups. Educators use a similar method to show if a student is learning. A child that is consistently in the lower percentiles in several areas may alert the teachers and parents to possible disabilities and may be able to correct such deficiencies before they become a chronic problem. What method could we use in the church to measure a person's faith? Is there a test we can administer to show where we are? Would we submit to such a test if it were available? These questions have been pondered by many over time. But is it fair for one person to stand in judgment over another? The writer of Hebrews proposes a simple test for Christians to find out if they are a babe in Christ or if they have moved on. This rule is simple enough. He gives six basic topics that show if a person is on the milk of the word or if they have moved on to the meat. They are as follows. Foundations of repentance from dead works. Faith toward God. Doctrines of baptism. Laying on of hands. The resurrection of the dead. And eternal punishment. This list gives not only the believer, but the teacher, a syllabus to use for teaching purposes. We find that the writer says these are elementary for mature Christians. So are these subjects elementary or hard for you? Lord willing, let's meet here again tomorrow and look at more people, places, and things of the Bible.